Welcome to Trading Lounge and the indices. We'll be looking at the bearish count and also the bullish count as well. So on the S&P here, this would be uh, the bearish count and I can see that there would be two uh, bearish counts that we could look at. Um, first of all, because the first particular move, the first move down through here is corrective and not impulsive, it would make the rest of this corrective as well. So in that instance, we could look at it as an A wave here, a B wave up here, and a C wave coming down quite deep, um, just testing below the lows here for this in five waves coming down. The other count would be looking at it in a triangle pattern where we have an A wave, a B wave, a C wave here pulling back into the supports here, or the these triangles I kind of come back to the 61.8% or the 78.6, depending on what type of triangle uh, they are. Um, anyway, the A, the B, the C, the D, and the E here. So they would be the two bearish uh, counts uh, coming into uh, into play. If we take this uh, 1212 scenario here, um, because it's coming into a interesting situation, so we'll just go to the uh, intraday 50,000 tick. So from the top here, we could view it as one and two and one and two as we've seen on that uh, two day chart we just looked at and then looking here as uh, on this particular market here the the cash market uh had this as the high but you'll find on different the e-minis and the futures and all the rest of it there some of this got this high and some have got this high so it's made it a little bit uh tricky but um we'll go on the cash market so one and two three four and five here i'm just trying to figure out the actual low here but we're pretty close and then we'll have some sort of abc pattern here and then we'll come down from that point so really if you're uh looking at the bear side of things what you would be looking for would be a three wave counter trend uh, and then a move to the downside in that uh, instance uh, we've got a count that's going to take us higher as well so in this instance here it would be good to wait for the B wave low at that point and probably not a good idea to over trade at this point as well because you've got the 4000 here and that's going to take some getting through and it might be really simple like this if this was the 4000 but most of the time it will come back above the level it likes to grip onto things and come back above the level and then come down so it's just saying it could get a bit complicated around here so not such a good idea to have a um, a large position in at that point so that's the bearish side of the S&P if we go to the the bullish side of the S&P so in this instance we can view it as uh, and this is how we're looking at the bullish count with the with the uh, stocks as well we've got bearish count for the stocks which is pretty much just what we looked at with the S&P but here we'd be looking at this as wave one to the upside and then looking down uh, here as um, I haven't updated this, but uh, one, two, three, four, five here for the A wave, and then going up for the uh, B wave, probably not that high here either, and um, and then coming down for wave two in this instance. We can take a closer look at this on the intraday at 20k. Here, so um, basically one, two, three, four, five coming down here. And um, at the moment, I'm just going to readjust this here as well because I've been toying with this as being different tops here. So there's, I mean, it makes a really nice A, B here, one, two, three, four, five here for this. But um, if that's the cash market, I've got to kind of work off that. But it does throw a bit of a spanner in the works. And what it does do down the low here, it actually, you know, if we use this one over here, it will give us another another move like this to the low here so that's a little bit of a, a bit of an issue um but uh i think that looking at some of the other markets around the place uh the DAX, the FTSE, the Australian market, we're being, it's quite clear in those cases, we've got wave four here and we just need to count five waves down to, uh, down to, down to these lows here. Once this is in play here, just got this trend line coming through here, but the 4,100 would be uh, a nice, well, one is the strongest number, so it's going to bring in some strength at that point. And uh, yeah, you know, there'll be some profit taking from this trend, so we'll see it snap back. And we're looking for a basically a move uh, as such 
uh, and then down again at that point, and that would make the B wave up there, the A, the B, and the C. If we take a closer look at this particular trend in here on the 1000 tick chart here, from this blue wave four coming down to this, uh, this low here, Oh, we don't need that there just yet. That's further to the right. Um, so we're looking at this wave four, and it counts really quite nicely uh, down here to a point. So we've got one and two, and then one and two and three. And makes a nice fourth wave here. That makes a nice wave two. So it's got the right look and feel about it. And this makes a nice fourth wave and sweeping down third wave here, nice length in that third wave here. Uh, and then we can look at this as one and two here and I could go three four five and I could put the low in here like this But this is where it gets a little bit sort of tricky because not only because that previous top that I talked about But um, also here as well There is the possibility that we can look at this here as one and two here and then down for uh, three four five here to finish this off so this is probably likely because it'll be based on what I can see in the stock market then it's probably likely that momentum needs to just follow through a little bit further so looking at all of this as one and two here and this would be one and two and three four five so it'd probably even come down a bit further than that as well so that type of finishing off at that uh, at that point so then we look at the Nasdaq which is much the same as well so this would be the uh, the bearish count I mean it's come very high here with the Nasdaq stocks uh, we've seen some of the Nasdaq stocks uh, take out the top <clears throat> the previous high here and uh, other stocks have been anywhere in between this uh, move here I'm talking about the half a dozen stocks that I cover each day the you know the big ten six or eight or whatever they are that you know move the market around i mean there's also other markets too that um you know in the low volatility section like berkshire hathaway that um that uh, also took their to took its top out as well and berkshire hathaway actually counts up quite nicely as three waves into a new high so having the b wave up here is is quite a good possibility really and then that would sort of put us in the situation well do we have an a wave here a b wave here and a c wave down here and because berkshire hathaway and some others took out the top here it will either be a triangle or it will be an expanded flat correction so uh in that uh instance we could look at this here as the a the b and the C wave coming down to the 50 60 percent and then the d and the e over here so in the meantime it's uh uh, I mean, it's, it's uh, in the meantime, it's essentially the same pattern for uh, being the bearish count or the bullish count, which would be on the one day chart here. And in this instance here, it's looking at all of this move up here as wave one with an A wave, a B wave and a C wave for wave two. You'll have to forgive me that I haven't got these sorted out totally right here but um yeah it'll be something uh like this we can get a better view of this in terms of the 20k tick here so um just taking it in from the third the fourth and the fifth down here and same with the s p it finishes quite clearly at the top here um but it's quite interesting in here really because this is the low here but on the s p this little move up here was was higher than this one so it's like eeny meeny miny mo which one do we go with here for this but um yeah also taking everything into sort of account looking at this as one and two and one two three four five because there's five waves here it's quite good and having the fourth here is good so you know as a one two three four five down here it's it's quite good um we know that there's some momentum on the downside for some of the stocks so yeah i was looking at this like this i think i might just go into the um 1000 tick here from 20,000 to 1000 pick it up that blue wave four section there and look at it through um with a bit more detail here so wave four here so this also counts down quite nicely as one and two and then one and two nice sort of sharp moves and four here being a little bit complicated and five down for the third wave here and i get the same thing here as well i could put this you know from green wave four here i could put green wave uh five here for this that would sort of that would work 
I can count one, two, three, four, five here, but I've decided to label it wave one and two here. And uh, yeah, that would open up this to being, you know, finishing off down here as well. This particular move here, well, it doesn't have to be wave three, it doesn't have to be longer. I mean, it'll just mean that wave five is shorter at this point. But if we go with the scenario that, um, well, I think one of the important points here is that 14,000 here is going to be, you know, is going to be a bit of a doorstopper um, at this point. So we could use that. And if the market is going to come down further here, it's going to get a little bit, you know, complicated. So all I could say here is that if the market takes out this top here, then then we're um, then we're heading higher at that point into, and we'll call that low in. But otherwise, um, just, you know, a bit of caution here, looking at one and two and three, four, five here. If that does get taken out there, that's a that's a long trade, and you could probably just use um, so fourteen thousand. We can look at um, one hundred, which won't interest us. Two hundred and three hundred. So, and then five after that. So, if I was trading this, which I won't be, but if I was, I would be looking for a classic trading levels pattern. The first high above the level to go long on over here, and I'll be doing the same thing over here as well, looking for a long trade at that point. So, this move, if we look at this as wave A here, we'll be going up higher up here in three waves at that point so um, that would be the long trade but otherwise it's going to be uh, a bit of a mess at this uh, 14,000 at this point alrighty so I'll leave that at that and we've got the uh, the Russell here so with the Russell here we're looking at um, where are we here where's my other Russell chart Sorry about that, just wanted to have a look at the bigger picture here too while we're looking at this. So in this case here, if I put wave four here, then we look at this as one and two here, and then it's a nice one, two, and five waves in here for three and four here. And if you've got a keen eye, you'll see the five waves in here. So we can look at this as wave three here with wave four here and wave five to come down. Um, in fact, that can really just go over here with that, and that's probably a part of that there. So it's all a little bit squishy. It's probably you know, this is the lower end of um, minor group two, sixty-five, seventy-two, and eighty. If I put wave four over here, which is probably it's possible, but it does appear that this is in three waves here, then that would call would call the low end at that point. But um, yeah, I think that we've got another little some sort of you know maelstrom there and then um some uh something like this here for this we can put this back over here and i will look at this as the a wave here and then an a abc back up there and in the this is the etf here of course and on the uh on the on the Russell here this is a weekly chart this would be the a wave coming down here the b wave and the c wave that would tie it i don't know if that's right or wrong but um that will tie it into the counts we have on the other markets. Um, we all, you know, I, I've always understood that this particular pattern here uh, is a corrective pattern. So that means we take out the low here. So we either do an ABC here or we end up with a one and two and we either end up with the one and two here and three and four and five, some deeper move here, you know, something of that nature. Nothing but downside here anyway. That's the, the gist of it all. Um, but yeah, so that's where that would uh, come into, uh, into play. So the A, the B and the C wave here for that, which of course I'd have to WXY this at that point as well. So, but yeah, we'll see how that plays out. So just chatting, shooting the breeze, not a big deal, but, but the short term here, we're looking for a low. We've had a nice, um, you know, from the top here, we've had a nice one, two, three, four and five down here. So we're down here somewhere, you know, so no need to overtrade on the short side, but the bet, you know, is on the short side. 
Alrighty, over to the DAX and in the bigger picture on the daily chart here, we're doing the same thing as well. We're looking down for the A wave, the B wave and the C wave that will tie it in with the with the rest of the markets in, in that particular bullish count as one and two. Now, the bullish count is also debatable as well. We could have, a, you know, some other type of top in play for uh, for for the DAX, but it won't matter for a little while uh, here anyway. So, um yeah so um you know this does count quite nicely as three waves down here so if that's true then it makes the rest of this corrective you know that's the good thing about it i reckon you could probably at the end of the day probably have to force yourself to look at it as five waves um but yeah anyway let's go and have a look at the intraday so let me just get some more data in here how much do we need let's get a tad more why are we five <coughs> so we've got uh one and two and one two three four five the third fourth um we've got this trend line coming through here sort of picking it up at the moment i should just put it on that one there and um yeah anyway four here sorry to wrap it on and uh one and two and one and two and three and four and five to so the third wave so one two three four and we're coming down for wave five here <clears throat> so um yeah uh you know the thing isn't it that's um it's pretty damn high here for that do i need to push that over you reckon i mean but that is does make a nice a b one two three four five so yeah i've got to go with that with one here and two over here for that i have to look at all of this as wave three here and i'm not quite sure about this i could i could even have wave four sitting over here as some sort of a b and one two three four five up here for, for this you know what i mean and and then come down so i'm not really quite sure about this you know otherwise i'd have to look at this as um here as one and two and one and two and, and and moving down you know so i don't know if we you know go to there or um you know we just go to here and and, and then continue to move down so i'm a little bit unsure about that one um but the dax will follow the s p so just keep an eye on the s p on that and uh, then we move over to to the UK and uh, with the UK here we're, we've been looking at wave fours on most of them so I'll just stay with this so I'm thinking you know just to give it a bit of space to the downside as wave four here as um, all the way down for wave one and two and one two three four five for one and two I could put the low in here I could put this in here and go one two three four and five here I could do could do that but um, yeah, it's quite possible, but um, yeah, I think that this here, if I look at this as one and two, and this is one and two, this will give me, it's probably the A wave here with a B and a C, so it'll probably give me something like that, and then give me the third, fourth, and fifth for the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, something of this nature, you know? But because we haven't really taken out the low here, that's the other thing, you know what I mean? so yeah it's probably something like this i may have it a bit wrong this is the important number here and then you'll have group one and group two below that as well by the way so i'm putting this as wave c here the FTSE is in a bit of a different count so i've put it in wave c here and and uh just have a look at this on the daily chart so just so you've got some bearing here so it does look like a nice triangle sort of pattern here you know so that's that wave c here and i'm tracking five waves down here and we just had a look at the third and the fourth wave in blue and we're coming down for the fifth we haven't quite made a low here yet so i was thinking you know an a and a b and a c wave here for the a wave and a b and c here well this would be a wxy actually i still haven't changed that i'm just a lazy aussie um so wave b then an a and a b and a c here going down and in a way you know this would be following if we this is what we're thinking for the u.s markets and the dax is that we have a finish this leg down here then we have a move up and then we have a move down now it would be different for the for the you know for the u.s markets but the u.s the s p and the nasdaq will do the same they'll go up for a b wave and then down for a c wave 
So there will still have that up and down movement there. And yeah, sure, I've seen wave E take out the low here, the, these sorts of things, you know, uh, before it's not, um, not uncommon uh, to do that. But you'd have to say that on the 72 here, it's really quite a nice um, looking textbook kind of um, situation here. Now, if I've got this wrong here, which uh, we all get things wrong, so it's just the way it is, but um, if I got this wrong, then this would be wave one here and two here and down for three here, back for four here where the A wave is, and then we would come down um, further here in this case. So we'd end up having five waves down and we'll still look at this as an A wave, a B wave, and one, two, three, four, five coming down. So we just got to see, all I can say in the short term is that we've got five waves coming down, it's going to end and we're going to get a bounce. That much I can tell you, that, that much is pretty pretty much set uh, in stone um, at this point. Obviously nothing is set in stone as they say, but yeah, I mean, at, you know, being reasonable about it. Um, and obviously coming down to these previous lows, you know, it's like the ball bouncing, isn't it? The first bounce is the highest and then the other bounces are, you know, diminishing at, at that point. So there will be another bounce here and it will be diminishing and it may not go back up to the trend line either. Um, but there will be should be some corrective pattern in here that we have to um, uh, navigate. Okay, and uh, yeah, the Aussie market's a little bit the same as well. I'm just going to leave that uh, in that space and put it into that block. So with the Aussie market, we've been looking down as one and two and three and four. So it's been here for quite a long time. It, it hasn't really sort of moved, you know, back back in uh, 23 here. So um, we've navigated through the... 38.2% retracement level um, up, you know, to the 6.9 area here. And then we've just, you know, over the last sort of week, we've just been counting it down slow. It's been a real, it's just been such a snail, really. So one and two and three and four here. It doesn't even look like it's got five waves here. It looks like it's just got sort of three waves here. So we may end up having this as an A wave, a B wave, and some sort of C wave up here for this. And then going down, you know, I mean, I've got to look at this as one, two, three, four, five here for the third wave. And I've got to stay with one and I've got to stay. I could probably put that over there, but not here nor there. That's probably better suited to there. So it's getting all a little bit iffy. And, you know, eight to me is the third strongest number, one, five, eight, then three. So, you know, it's doing what it should be doing and being connected and attached to this particular number. Um, but we should see another low come in play here. I don't think that I can call, you know, this the low and all those sort of things. And so, yeah, it's probably some some upward movement and then sort of you know to finish off here something like this and this length here yeah sure it could extend out but normally you know it would be you know not far from the others you know in that in that sense so and yeah wave four is overlapping wave one and you know it's not a perfect world and um uh, but yeah, so you know, once we get this low in here, it'll be a bit like the FTSE and the and the and the Nasdaq, the, the, all the others. Is that we should see some sort of larger ABC correction here, and we're all we're also in a big triangle sort of pattern as well with this market. But uh, I won't go into that today because the video is long enough. So yeah, look, not a lot to do, and. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's just really going to wait for the US markets to have its low in before we get that run, you know. And also, too, in another way, too, I, I always like the fact that when we're working with large numbers and, you know, we, we've been coming down and we want to go, we want to trade to the long side, um, is that it's always good if it, if it's, you know, if it comes down below the level and then it proves to you that it's actually strong and it can find its way back up at that point you know and take those highs out that it's proving to you that it's strong and that's what we go with and we can manage the risk at that point too so that's really what we're looking for uh, we do have it here but yeah i think it, we're not 
kind of finished off here just yet so we'll just chill and uh let's see i mean friday you know thursday can be bullish and thursday can be bearish and uh friday can be uh bullish so you know that we may see something to the upside i mean because we've got three waves here by the way i mean it could even end up that wave four ends up over here you know as an a and a b and a c wave up here but i don't really have th five waves up here either so Anyway, just shooting the breeze. I'll leave it at that. Enjoy the weekend and thanks for tuning in. Cheers.